Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get your transmitter to control your KingTech turbine. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to bind a receiver to the transmitter, which we're going to be doing shortly. We're going to need to set up the throttle channel correctly. And then we're going to walk through the RC learn process, which effectively is telling the GSU the throttle endpoints. So we're going to bind up this um, Futaba 7008 um, S-Bus receiver to the radio. So let's turn the radio on, create a model, bind the receiver, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so we create a new model. Accept all the defaults. So first thing we do, want to do is bind the receiver. So it's a fast S18 channel receiver. Um, so that's all okay. So let's click link and link. Okay, so it wants us to power up the receiver. And we've got the link established there. So that's good news. And we're all linked up. And we see we've got a nice green light there to show we're bound up. So the next thing we need to do is just check the channel that the throttle output is coming from um, on the model. So if we just go to, sorry, um, linkages, servo monitor. So we can see here we've got um, channel three is outputting the, is outputting the signal. Um, so for some strange reason, I'm not quite sure why, so Futaba throttle seems to be reversed all the time. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna reverse the, the throttle. So that's all done. Okay, so we're gonna plug in the ECU the, the uh, RC throttle channel on the ECU into the channel three. Making sure not to get the cable in the wrong way. So let's go through the RC learn process. So, oh, actually before I do that, one thing I always do on my Futaba is um, is change the step count for the the trims on the on the throttle. Um, as you know, the um, the way we um, enable most turbines to start is we we start off with the trim down, throttle down, and then we uh, put the throttle trim up to max. That gets the turbine uh, the ECU re into kind of ready mode, and then we throttle up um, to initiate the start. So with that, uh, we have quite a few steps on the uh, on on this by default. If we come through to dial monitor on the linkages menu, you'll see uh, our step count on here is four. So you can see how many we get. So we're mid trim at the moment. So you can see how many it takes to get down to the bottom. So qu quite a lot. We don't really want that, especially in an emergency where we want to cut the turbine. We want it to be pretty quick. So um, the way I always do that is I set <coughs> this to about, I think, um, 50. I think that gives us, that's four, four steps. But actually I want to go to 100, I think. That just gives us a couple. Okay. Okay, so now we're uh, ready to do the RC learn. So we're going to jump into the um, jump into the menu, and we jump into the radio menu, and we click next, and we see we get the RC learn option here. So we just click uh, two to enter that process. Right, so we get first request to be stick up and trim up. And you see it's come up with save, so it's happy it's kind of got a, a valid reading. So we click two for that. And then we want stick down, trim down. And it's happy with that, so we can save that. And now stick down, trim up. Trim up, there we go, so it's happy with that. And then save that. 
there we go and that's it uh, we can leave all the rest just go back to the home key and then back to the dashboard okay so you see here that um, we've got the trim low stick low and our um, GSU is, is reporting um, reporting that and if we put the trim up to high you can see it's saying ready so it's ready for a start the light comes on on the on the ECU and if you want to start we literally up the top back down and you'll see it starting um, I'm going to kill this now trim low disables it so there we go pretty straightforward um, I hope it was helpful